Hey, what's going on, guys? Tanmay here for Simple Snippets, and today we are going to be studying a new cipher technique in network security, which is known as rail fence cipher. So, in the previous video tutorial, we saw different cipher techniques, which were basically substitution cipher, and in this case, this is going to be a transposition cipher. Also, in the previous video tutorial, we saw the Playfair cipher. So, if you have missed that video, you might want to check that out. So, with that being said, let's get started. So we'll first see what Railfin cipher is and what transposition cipher means and we'll see the encryption and decryption process of Railfin cipher using an example. So as I mentioned Railfin cipher is a transposition cipher technique so that follows a simple rule of mixing up the characters in the plain text to form the cipher text. So in substitution cipher what happens is the plain text characters are replaced by new characters to form the cipher text but in this case the plain text characters are not replaced but they are just jumbled up to form a cipher text. So that is the primary difference. Now this is a very simple and easy to crack technique so hence it is not used practically as a standalone cipher technique it is usually accompanied with some other cipher technique. So now let's move on to the encryption and decryption part and we'll see an example and I'll explain to you how the encryption and decryption goes. Okay so as you can see on the screen we have the text as simple snippets so this is the text this is the plain text we have and we are going to encrypt this simple snippets using the railfin cipher technique. So we have the concept of rails in this case. So let's say we have the rails as two. So we have two rails. So just make an imaginary rail over here that is two parallel lines that I have supposed to mark. So I'll just make two parallel lines. So these are the two rails and what we have to do is we have to start from first rail to the second to the third and we have to mark places which are equal to the number of characters in our plain text. So, so we have 14 characters. So let me write it over here. We have count as 14. So I have to mark 14 places on this fence. So I'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Okay, so I have marked the number of points on the two rail fences and I just simply have to start writing the simple snippets text along these rail fence in this fashion. So first I'll write over here S I M P L E then I have S N I P P E T S. So this is how we have to write the text. So you have to go like this, like this, like this, like this and so on and so forth. Now in order to form the cipher text, we have to take the top rail first like this starting from left to right and then the bottom rail starting from left to right. So the first part would be S M L S I P T and the second part would be I P E N P E S. So this over here is our cipher text. So this was the process of encryption. Now let's see how we go about the decryption process. So let me just write down over here. Now again for decryption we have this cipher text over here. So we already know it has 14 characters. So first make the two rails since we already know that n equal to 2. So I just made the rails over here and mark 14 points because count is equal to 14 that is characters number of characters is 14. So I'll start from here 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay so now that I've written the characters we'll start from the top and we know we have 7 places over here at the top. So we have 1, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places on the top rail. So we'll first take the first 7 characters that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and we'll start writing them down. So we have S, M, L, S, I, P, T and the second set of 7 characters we'll write them on the bottom. So we have I, P, E, N, P, E, S. Now again mark the rails. So while decryption again we have to read out in this format. So we have S, I, M, P, L, E, S, N, I, P, P, E, T, S. So again we get the plain text as simple snippets. So this is our final answer. Now you must be wondering so this is when n equal to 2 that is we are using two rails. So what happens when we have three rails. So let's see an example for that. So what we will do is we will keep the plain text as simple snippets itself. So the count would be 14 but this time the n equals to 3 that is we have three rails. So let's start with the encryption process. So in this case we have to draw three rails. So I'll draw the three rails 1 2 and 3. So now we have to mark 14 places. So I'll start from the top 1 then come to the second rail 2 and then go to the third rail. So we have 3 then come back to the second rail that is 4 then on the first rail 5 and so on and so forth. So I have marked 4 5 points already. I need to mark more 9. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14. So we have 14 characters. So that is why I have marked 14 points on our rail fences. 
Now simply go ahead and write the characters in that format. So I have S I M P L E S N I P P E T and S. So in this case, this is how we are going to go when we are calculating the cipher text. So from here, we'll go to point two on the second rail. Then we'll go to point three on the third rail. Then we'll come on the second rail. Then we'll come on the first rail. So this is the direction in which we will compute the cipher text when n equals to three. That is, we have three rails. So now the cipher text will be the first rail text, then the second rail text, and then the third rail text. So the first rail text would be S L I T. The second rail text would be I P E N P E S, and the last rail text would be M S P. So this is our final answer when we perform the encryption and calculate the cipher text using rail fin cipher with three rails. So now let's see the decryption process. Again, we already know n equals to three and count equals to fourteen characters. So we'll first draw the three rail fences, mark all the fourteen points like we did in the encryption process. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now we've plotted the fourteen points on the different rail fences. Now we know for the top line we have four places. So let's first take the four characters that is S L I T. So I'll write it down over here S L I T. For the second rail fence, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have I P E N P E S. And for the last rail fence, we have M S P. So I'll write it down over here M S P. And now just simply connect the dots in this order. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So this is how we go when we calculate the plain text back from the cipher text. So again, the plain text would be S I M P L E S N I P P E T S. So that is simple snippets. So this is our final answer. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you understood the rail fence cipher technique, which is. slightly different from substitution ciphers because it is a transposition cipher in which we do not substitute the characters with other characters instead we just jumble them up using the rail fence technique which i just discussed and showed and we also solved two different examples wherein in the first case we took two rail fences that is n equals to 2 and in the second case we took n equals to 3 that is we took the same example with three rail fences so if you have any queries or comments you can put them in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace